The ball is tomorrow. I have no worthwhile memories of such events, yet I'm still looking forward to this one. As am I. In the sense that I look forward to destroying all of the unworthy suitors who will inevitably swarm Lady Edelgard. I will admit, Edelgard is adorable. However, when it comes to elegance on the dance floor, I am superior. You're not a bad dancer, Ferdy. But you do have some moves that are... hard to watch. You honor me with your kind words. I understand that I am sometimes too dazzling to behold directly. I'm envious of your positive attitude. I also know how to dance. In theory. Maybe I should participate as well. Not me! You wouldn't catch me dancing at a ball any sooner than you'd catch a fish swimming through the sky! <laughs> well, you do tend to flop around like a fish on the land after all. Well, why would you say that? Now I feel like a fish on a skillet. On a skillet? <laughs> Never mind. Speaking of the ball, do we get to pick who we dance with? I wonder who I should ask. A bold subject change. Should Lady Edelgard wish it, I would be honored to. I will fight with all that I have within me. Fighting? No, that's not really the point. I will not be as a fish upon the flame. Um, okay. I have a proposition. Let's all agree to meet back at the monastery exactly five years from today. Like a class reunion? It's a great idea. Five years from today will be the Millennium Festival for Garrig Mach Monastery. I've heard the magnitude of the festivities will exceed all prior years. Oh, how exciting! Sounds like a great excuse to come visit our dear professor. You will be seeing how much growing I have done. You will be pleased, professor. This idea is good! Who knows where each of us will be in five years' time, or who we will become. Still, I have faith that all of us will gather and celebrate our reunion. That's assuming the Professor is still here in five years, and not enjoying a cozy early retirement. <laughs> Even if that's the case, you will come, won't you? Whether or not you're still teaching here. Don't forget, my teacher. Even if the Millennium Festival should be cancelled, I promise to return here. Running away? I understand. You hardly had the time to breathe in there. It must be hard to be the favorite teacher at the ball. <laughs> poor, poor professor. Was that a joke? I find it hard to tell with you. Just think of all the students begging you to dance. But where is there to run? This place is filled with joyful students looking for a dance. Ah, I see. The Goddess Tower waits for you. Professor, nothing to report. Ah, 
other than the legend of the Goddess Tower, of course. Have you heard the students talking about it? On the last night of the Ethereal Moon, on the same night as the Ball, if a man and a woman go to the Goddess Tower and make a wish, it's sure to come true. I have a wish, but I can't find anybody to make it with me. Hey, Professor. I was looking all over for you. What are you doing up here? I think this place is supposed to be off-limits. <laughs> Good point. No one follows that rule anyway, and I heard no one from the monastery really cares. Huh. I can't remember her name. It was just some girl who started talking to me last night. She was trying to get me to leave the ball tonight and go to the Goddess Tower with her. She wouldn't say what she wanted to do here, though. Said it was a secret or something. I told her I'd be too busy dancing and stuffing my face with food, so she left. Don't know why, but she didn't seem too happy about it. I guess I was curious, though, so I came to check it out. That's when I saw you walking this way, so I followed you in. I appreciate that. I'm not really looking for sympathy. I just wish she would have explained herself before getting all angry. Huh? Why? Well, it's all over now. Can't change what's in the past. Thanks! I had a feeling you'd get it. Anyway, I'm going to head back to the ball. You coming? Doesn't look like there's anything too exciting going on here. Maybe coming to the tower wasn't a total waste of time. I got to talk to you at least, right? Well, I'm starting to get hungry again. Time to fill up on some more food. It seems that everyone is having a delightful time. Will you not dance some more? dull of you. Had I a body of my own? Oh, I would sing and dance until I fell upon the ground. But you... <laughs> do as you will. Oh, you're not the only one who feels that way. Look over there. Hmm, I'm bored beyond compare. Will you not follow her? Oh, come on, hurry up! I know that you are curious to see what she is up to. I hear... someone singing... from over there. in the past. Actually, it is not that I have heard it. I... Did I once sing that song to someone? No. There's more. I wrote this song. Oh, but how could that be so? If that were true, then how could she be singing it? Unless... No, no. I am suddenly so exhausted. As are you, no doubt. Quickly then, to bed with you. <laughs> 